Hi there, I'm Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Animation. Welcome to my second part of this tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm making a water design in 3D Max, and it will be the actual measurement size. So let's get started with the second lesson. So now I'll take a rectangle. Now I'll snap from this point. and the length will be some 420 mm 420 mm yeah so this will be Just press snap lock mm. Now I'll take a box and that will be the first ledge. Just copy this one. Five four five. Right now, five four five. Really, some around less than that. just make this height 540 just check in perspective yes the difference will be some around like this so now I'll make three one big uh, something like this say ok just copy this or maybe this will be fine I think yeah slightly from here in this case what I'll, I'll recommend is don't uh, uh, adjust the width from here because what will happen it will take a lot of time like if I increase this one I have to adjust from both the sides and it will take consume the uh, too much time so what I'll do is I'll go to modifier list I'll say FFD it's very simple I'll go to FFD and say control points and grab this control point and you can make this very easily so this is perfect one what we can do very fast just switch this to shaded yeah this one okay I'll just save my file because so it's fine so now I want one uh, simple rod to fit over here so there will be a piece of hangers you can keep so I'll just go in left view and take a cylinder like this radius will be 14 and just switch my view to front increase the height four so I'll just make slightly down so there will be space for hangers as well here is a take a box so let's 
on my keyboard till here see if i snap it if snap it over here and just press again s to off the snap and then make the height just make this one and this all add ffd again f2 into 2 so it is very easy to handle the points so i'll just switch this till here select this one it's perfect fine the height will be ten go to front view again and this part have to uh, again this one also we don't want till here i'll say ffd control point select go inside and it's done so now if you will see this is a perfect uh, support we have got and we will will make a uh, front support don't worry and now we'll concentrate on right hand side of this one and what i'll do is i'll just make this copy so sorry this one i'll make this i'll name it left door l e f t left underscore t o o r door and i'll make a copy say copy as say right r i g h t right door if you name it the work will be well organized go to modify go to inside f50 control points grab this control point and come till here the hinges will be very close something like this and this part we have to check with shaded mode so we should cover a slight gap we will want a slight gap yes that's it so now it's done the only thing what we have to do is if you see i'll click this door if you want to open it you'll open like this and we do, don't want that we want hinges should be over here so we will do that as well so i'll just go in front view everything is fine this door is also fine the name is right door and what i'll do is before that i'll se select everything apart from the front doors i'll make a group i'll say body so the only thing is left two doors so we won't by mistakenly uh, select those doors and one last thing uh, we have to do is make the front 
portion of the support of the wardrobe should be very uh, attractive or maybe very good looking something like that so in next part we will do that and uh, thanks for watching this tutorial if you really like my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and uh, thanks for watching